Shall I stand up? Um, yes, if you could. Um, I, think, I think the real challenge facing the Green Party is you can't, well, I don't know why, but I'm very talked of as the third party instead of the Greens. Um, what would be your attitude towards that and how would you, how would you fight that? How would you, what would you do about it? Okay, so uh, if maybe we start with the left hand end with Caroline, answer. Um, I think that's a very interesting one, and I think it's um, an important point about us understanding the different contexts that different local parties are working in. Um, and I've certainly spoken to different parties in, in many different areas, and there are some things that you can sort of apply across between them and others you can't. Um, you know, in London, UKIP actually have not been an issue for us. Um, they did much worse in the elections than we thought, but I know in other areas they're very strong. I think where they do very well is that the media coverage that they get, um, and actually that's sometimes sort of not re reflected. I think that if we can develop positive campaigns and really work on getting our policy out there, really speaking to people um, through the media but also on the ground, people want a positive vision. I don't think you could give that. I think you could is a vote for people who are feeling very unsure. So I think we need to give a positive alternative. Yeah. And um, well, UKIP are present in Brighton and Hove, um, as as well as that they're present in the wider um, southeast region, which includes Oxford. Um, and they're a threat to us, especially in the European elections in 2014. Um, I think that they are very adept communicators and that they are able to sell very simple messages to people um, about integration, really. And they're, 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 for me, I would say that they're even more of a threat than the BNP are because they are, um, they're, they're not your kind of working class white man. It is educated people selling this, you know, it is really very, very frightening. And so I think as part of my role as campaign manager for the South East region for the European election campaign, what I would like to see us do is have some sort of education campaign so people understand issues of immigration, of Europe and our involvement with Europe um, and, and really educate people about those because, you know, we see that with climate change we're going to have a vast number of people fleeing their homes um, for, just to stay alive. And so we're ahead of the game on that one. Um, and <coughs> do, do I have any stuff? Um, if you could, if you could so, yeah, and, and I just think that we need to be clear in, our, in the communication of our messages and as adept as they are at communicating them. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, UKIP do have some very, very able communicators in their party. Nigel Farage is very good on TV, it's very presentable, comes across, man in a suit, all this kind of thing. I've heard the description of UKIP as BNP in a suit. Um, I don't think that's quite right. Um, if, and their, their real challenge in many ways is, is to the Tory party. Um, if you look at um, the polls that have, uh, that have been conducted by YouGov, um, Maury and all the others, and you look at the detail behind them, most of their vote is, is predominantly older people, it's predominantly ex-Tory, um, and it's, it's very, very much to, sort of, um, to, to, to the right of the Tory on, on many issues. And I, I think that they, they do pose a challenge in that they have a very simple direct message that does appeal to quite a lot of people who aren't interested in sophisticated things. They completely deny climate change. If you get one or two of them on the stuff, then they'll say, oh yes, well, we, 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 we agree that the market will sort this out if there is such a thing. Um, but I, I do think that we have to be very canny <coughs> to deal with them. We do have to point up the fact that this country does very well out of uh, immigration. Which it helps boost the economy, we get a lot of exchange <coughs> of people coming here, a lot of students come here and study here, a lot of people stay here and build their lives here, and that helps this country. I think it really helps us develop and build a, a, sort of a proper multicultural society. Um, I do think that we have to be aware of them um, simply because they have so much more money they have some very wealthy people who are prepared to bankroll them, and they have a lot of ex-Tories who are prepared to stand up and be counted on their part as well. There was a UKIP um, member of the House of Lords um, being fairly ridiculed in the debate, but still in a debate um, on the radio today. Uh, we did have, a, or we do have a, a UKIP MEP in the uh, East Midlands area, so there are strong challenges there. One of the Tory MEPs has just defected to UKIP in the East Midlands as well. Um, it's an area of the country that does, to, does tend to vote pretty much over to the right of the spectrum, unfortunately. Um, I think we have to be very <coughs> dominant.
direct with our messages. If we find ourselves in a situation where they're on the same stump as us, we have to make sure that our messages are short and to the point and well backed up. Um, and, and so that we're sort of just like a rapier to get to the heart of where their insecurities are. Because a lot of what they talk about is based on insecurities.